Greetings, future engineers. Welcome to the introduction to structural theory, where you will be able to understand the fundamental concepts necessary in analyzing and designing structures. As you finish this topic, you are expected to have these learning outcomes. You should be able to define structural theory and its fundamental concepts. You will also be able to recall the changes in structural engineering through time and the people who contributed on it. Moreover, you will be able to classify structures based on different aspects, from its structural layout, categories, structure types, and structure elements. Next, you will be able to identify the different loads acting on a structure. And lastly, you will be able to name the analytical design models that are used in analyzing and designing structures. But before that, do you want to have an adventure? Yes, I know you do. Come, let's take on the world of structures. Are you ready? So let's go. Welcome, Absinista. This is your virtual field trip, discovering the engineering world through structures. The first stop of our trip is the Great Wall of China. Ancient China was a time of little peace, as many groups were attempting to gain power. The Great Wall of China was built to serve as a defensive tactic. The structure is made up of different materials depending on what era. Some portion of the stretch were built with packed earth, clay, and stone between wood planks. The best known portion of the wall was built and enhanced during the Ming Dynasty, which stretches 5,500 miles. This stretch of amazing structural fortification is made up of 3,889 miles of actual wall, 223 miles of trenches, and 1,387 miles of hills and rivers, a natural defensive barrier during those times. A battle wall and a parapet wall is seen in the stretch of the Great Wall of China. The battlement wall has a height of 2 meters, while the parapet wall has a height of 1 meter. After the ancient structure, let us now move to our second destination, the Trans-Siberian Railway. Trans-Siberian Railway is the biggest railway line in the world, starting from Moscow and ending in Vladivostok, that has a stretch of 9,000 198 kilometers in between these big cities. During its construction, 100 million cubic meters of rock are being used while 12 million railroad sleepers being constructed, not to mention the bridges and tunnels being built. This course is also branching out lines going to China, North Korea, and Mongolia. It passes 87 towns and cities, crosses 16 wide rivers, lips 8 time zones, and would take 8 days to complete the route. How cool is that? Moving on to our next destination, Palm Islands in Dubai, UAE. The construction of the Palm Islands started in year 2001. The material used in creating the crescent-shaped breakwater was made from blasted mountain rock. It stands 13 feet below low tide sea level and settled at 34 feet above the deepest point of water. Palm Jumeray is made from 3 billion cubic feet of ocean sand vibro compacted. Vibro compaction increases the density of loose sand by saturating it with jets of water and vibrating it with probes. Sand covered by an erosion-preventing water-permeable geotextile makes up the breakwater's lowest layer. One-ton rocks cover the sand, and two layers of large rocks weighing up to six tons each cap, a toe placed by a floating crane, sits inside the crescent. 
the breakwater also has two 328 foot openings on each side to eliminate stagnation in the 16 narrow deep channels. These gaps allow water to completely circulate every 13 days. A great landscape you want to enjoy. From the sea breeze of UAE, let us now jump to USA and take a look at their greatest dam ever built. Welcome to the Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam sits in the Colorado River between Arizona and Nevada. It has a height of 726.4 feet from the rock foundation going to the roadway of the crest of the dam, while the two towers has a height of 40 feet above the crest. The dam is estimated to weigh 6,600,000 tons, more than 5 million five hundred thousand cubic yards of material were excavated and another one million cubic yards of earth and rock fill placed with tons of concrete and reinforcing steel the dam was put into action this dam is also a power plant it took five years to complete the structure including its appurtenant works from these humongous structure let us go to the tallest building in the world Come and see the Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa is located in UAE. Burj Khalifa started its construction in January 2004. It took 1,325 days to finish the tallest freestanding structure in the world. With a height of 830 meters to tip, it is not unusual for the structure to experience strong winds. A wind tunnel testing was done over 40 times to ensure the effects of the wind to the tower and its occupants. Over 45,000 cubic meter of concrete, weighing more than 110,000 tons, were used to construct the concrete and steel foundation, which features 192 piles buried more than 50 feet deep. Burj Khalifa's construction will have used 330,000 cubic meter of concrete and 39,000 tons of steel rebar and construction will have taken 22 million man hours. Now let's go to our next stop, which is the longest bridge in the world. Lastly on our list is the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge in China. The longest bridge has a span of 164.8 km and designed to withstand typhoons and a magnitude 8 earthquake. Not only by natural calamities, but the bridge can also withstand a great impact from a 300,000 ton naval vessel. The bridge is made up of 2,000 pillars and takes in 450,000 tons of steel with the rest of the bridge supported by 9,500 concrete pilings. The bridge is constructed to be part of the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway. With that, China owns one of the wonder structures in the world. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed a quick tour in the world of engineering by exploring these great structures ever built. See you again next time. Good day. After visiting those magnificent structures around the world, have you asked yourself, how did they made it? Hmm. Or, how did they prevent them from collapsing? Do you even know? Let me know your insights by answering these questions through the link provided on your screen or you can scan the QR code next to it.